I'd like to thank God for this opportunity He gives us this morning to uh, come together uh, in a great force like this to um, be able to prepare ourselves for immediately for Christmas with this Advent reflection. And um, I uh, am very delighted to, uh, to see that uh, the topic uh, I'm supposed to be developing together with you this morning is um, the true devotion to Mary and the Holy Spirit. Uh, I don't know whose bright idea what that was, but it's a very bright and beautiful idea. Amen. 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 Yes, yes, Amen. I think it is. And so um, I just uh, projected here, unfortunately, we'll have to uh, maybe uh, shut up the, the blinds here. Oh, yeah. Can we please shut up the yeah, so that uh, you can see better? Um, <clears throat> yeah. As you can imagine, as you can imagine, um, as um, the first Christmas um, day was was about to dawn. You can imagine how Mary must have been uh, very, very, not only excited, but uh, anticipating that great, great event in human history that will change the course of our history, in fact. Um, the advent, the coming. Advent is coming. Um, I don't know um, if you realize, how many comings are of Jesus are we talking about? One, two, three, one dozen, what? One point two, what? Ah, two, who says two? Up your hands, up, up, up. Uh, okay, who says three? One. You mean to say there's only one person right here? Brothers and sisters, uh, I'd like, to, um, I'd like us to understand this very well. Um, of course, we on the December the 25th, will be commemorating, will be celebrating the first coming of Jesus into our history. He came in history. Something like 2010 years ago. Plus. Um, but then we know something else is going to happen. And we proclaim this every time we are at Mass. After the consecration, um, the priest will say, let us proclaim the mystery of faith. Go. Christ, sky, Christ, reason. Exactly, Christ will come again at the end of time, this time in majesty. And so he came in uh, history once upon a time. He will come again in majesty, in glory at the end of time to judge the living and the dead. Something that way, as we proclaim in our Catholic faith, in our creed. The point is, I don't know who of you were here when he first came. Anyone? Oh, come on. I mean, you know, you must be kidding. I don't know who of you will still be around when he comes again. I don't really know. Who knows? Okay. But thanks be to God, there is a very important coming. Um, there is a very important coming that is in between the first coming in history and the coming again in majesty of Jesus. There is an in-between coming. He always comes. He comes in mystery. Oh, by the way, I appreciate it if you're going to write things. Really, write things. I really believe in the Chinese saying. The Chinese have a very beautiful saying, saying goes like this. The palest ink is better than the most retentive memory. The palest ink is better than the most retentive memory. For the Philippines among you, uh, um, that goes like, mas mabuti pa rin ang pinapalabong tinta kaysa pinakamatalas na memoria. But I asked uh, uh, a lady one time in a conference, will you please translate that more more uh, dynamically? Uh, the palest thing is better than the most relative memory. And you know what uh, what she did? She just said three words. Sulat ka dai. Please, girl, write. Okay. <laughs> I, Oh, if it's a guy, please, guy, right, okay? Yeah, I, I believe in that because you can go back and forth to these notes of yours and uh, 
you can uh, hope to deepen your understanding of what uh, is happening now. Okay, uh, and so I said Jesus came in history about 2010 years or plus ago. He will come again in glory at the end of time, you know, to judge the living and the dead. But thanks be to God, we can be participants in His coming. He always comes. In fact, He said, I was hungry, I was thirsty, I was naked, I was a foreigner, I was sick, I was in prison, and you did something for me. When, Lord? Oh, when you did it to the least of my brothers and sisters, you did it to me. Just at the, at the same time, uh, you know, he will be saying uh, to those on the left when he comes again in glory, uh, uh, you curse, be damned. Why? Because I was hungry, I was thirsty, I was naked, I was homeless, I was sick, prison, and you did not do anything for me. When, Lord? Not this, not this. He comes again and again and again in our lifetime. And that, that's Advent. Unfortunately, um, sometimes he can come and we are asleep. In other words, not literally asleep, but that we pretend to. There is no one more deaf than the one who pretends to be deaf. Right? Well, I must be in case I'm going to be in as we say. Okay? Um, the point is, um, Mary, therefore, uh, is our beautiful model for, for this time of, uh, of Advent as we prepare for Christmas. I don't know how many Christmases you have celebrated in your lifetime that, uh, thus far. Maybe something like 25 times. Maybe, you know, I, I, that's a, I mean, a hazard, you know, I guess. Mm, well, then let's make it more generous. Maybe 27 times. Uh, uh, let's not go to those details. The point is, it doesn't depend on the number of times we have celebrated Christmas, but how meaningfully Christmas has become for us. Unfortunately, you cannot appreciate something you don't understand. Amen? Amen. Really? Really? And uh, today we want to understand more deeply, somehow, this mystery of Christmas, this coming of Jesus. And um, I think the one who is going to usher us into this mystery is the one to whom it happened first. Mary, and more importantly, I think it will be uh, the one who was the cause of it all. Mary was a virgin, how did she give bear a child? And she conceived of the Holy Spirit. And so I, I think uh, your theme for today really ties up so well. And I feel very envious of you. You can afford to munch. <laughs> anyway, forgive me. Uh, uh, okay, and so um, I'd like to proceed to our topic, therefore. <clears throat> so we're going to talk about true devotion. I am, uh, I am uh, how do you say, intrigued by the word true. Uh, it looks as if uh, sometimes it's not true. Okay. It can be, in fact, it can be. And devotion, I don't know what you mean by devotion, um, but definitely it should be something uh, to the Blessed Mother and to the Holy Spirit. And so we begin with the, uh, the discussion on Mary. And so there is to ask, who is Mary? Okay. I can imagine if I ask each and every one of you, you would have a fantastic uh, description of who Mary is. And especially who Mary is for you, for us. Because at one point, at one point, when we profess our faith, when we say, I believe, I hope if our faith is mature, the accent is on the up I. Brothers, sisters, 
There's such thing.